the stiff arm guard defense technique. Learn it, it's easy, and you're gonna find people have a real hard time passing your guard. Hey guys, Coach Tom, I'm here today with Reese, and we're having a look at a very simple maneuver, but yet is one that's so underutilized and it's so easy to use, gi or no gi, to stop people passing your gut. So, if I'm here with Reese and he's passing my gut, doesn't matter how. Basically, he gets around my legs, he controls them, he gets around, he passes my gut, and my life starts sucking. So, what can we do when this starts to happen? Well, there's obviously lots of guard stuff we can do with our legs, but most of the time when he's passing the guard, you could do, say, an over-under, for instance, as well, okay? It means he's controlled my legs. That's why he's passing my guard, okay? So now maybe a knee slice. Same thing, he's controlling my legs and hip. That's why I can't use my legs. If I had an awesome guard, he wouldn't have passed it. So what can we usually use? Our hands. But hands and arms are pretty weak compared to whole bodies sometimes. So we need to use a fully locked out arm. So I'm here and say Reese is uh, doing a, um, uh, a knee slice pass, but it's probably a common pass these days. So he's doing a knee slice. As soon as I realize he might get me, I'm gonna grab a collar, it can be either collar, and I can go thumb up or thumb down, and I'm gonna keep a fully stiff arm. As long as I keep a fully stiff arm, you can even pass Reese, it's fine. I'm just gonna keep him away with a fully stiff arm and put him back into a guard. Now let's have a look at how that might play out with say, uh, he might, I don't know, just say Toriander guard pass. So I'm here, I'm really worried he's gonna pass. I get my stiff grip and I move my hip away. Remember, I'm not trying to hold him away with my arm. I'm trying to hold him where he is and slow him down with my stiff arm so I can move my hips back and now put him back into a gut. Now let's have a look at how this might play out in over-under passing. Okay, another great form of passing. He's here with an over-under pass. So, I can get my hand in his collar, fingers in his collar, thumb in his collar, doesn't matter. In no gi, I can go to the head. And now I'm gonna push him away like this, and he passes my guard, it's fine. And he passes, and now I put him back. Okay, so it's basically trying to hold him off, acting as a post with a locked arm, not a bent arm, it's not strong enough. And then I move my hips away. So one hand is on his collar or his body in no gi, stiff. The other hand is on the mat, stiff. And then that lets you move your hips away. You know, this is such a basic technique that a white belt and a black belt can grasp it in just one minute. But if you're not doing this in your guard, you are probably halving your chances of high level guard retention. And uh, I find this technique is just as powerful if used by the white belt than if used by, say, the fourth degree black belt, which, for instance, one of my buddies who is a fourth degree black belt loves the stiff arm technique. And man, passing that guard with those arms, that's hard. Even when you get past, you now have to deal with that. And it's easy to say you'll do a jumping arm bar if you do this, but uh, good luck with that. That's all I'll say, because once you get the hip out and you've got to jump for an arm bar, that becomes now a collar drag that can pull. So once you're done posting, you can then pull with that. And if he's jumping in the air for an arm bar, I think you'll find he'll go for quite a ride. So enjoy using it. It's a very easy technique, but that's not to say it's not effective. In boxing, people get knocked out by a fist smashing into their jaw. It's not necessarily complicated, but it is effective. And this is very effective as well. Enjoy using it. I'm Coach Tom, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope you loved it. For more free videos, click here. And if you'd like to get our free Footlock Master Course, please click here. And if you'd like to help support me so I can help bring you high-level jiu-jitsu for free every day, please click here. Thank you for watching, guys. I'm Coach Tom. I'll see you next time.